this video, we are going to create a suit photo effect in Photoshop CS6 Extended. It will be fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Taste Tutorials and today we will create a suit photo effect. We will use Photoshop Actions as well and I hope you like this video. Before we start, let me just uh, uh, tell you one thing is that if you are uh, having problem as I said in previous video, you can simply just take a screen uh, screenshot of your uh, image or the error which you are facing and then just send it to my Facebook page of test tutorials and I will surely reply I will try my best to reply as fast as possible because uh, there are lots of things happens in Facebook page so that's why I cannot take uh, sorry I cannot pay a lot of attention to the page so that's why uh, uh, I hope you guys really understand what I am talking about and uh, uh, kindly watch my Photoshop uh, manipulation tutorials also and I have one more which is pretty much amazing and I know it will be my best and uh, just uh, invite your friends to my channel and uh, there are lots of things you can find on my channel just watch all the videos you will see amazing effects free of cost you don't have to pay anything because my motto is simple photoshop free for all okay everything is free on this channel nothing can be charged and uh, yes if you want to hire me then i will charge surely because i don't uh, have enough time and i really have to take time so that's why uh, i think we have talked a lot and one thing is uh, uh, some people's face problem using some actions so kindly instead of giving dislike you can just simply tell me what is the exact error so i could uh, try my best to help you out to uh, get rid of that kind of errors which you are facing and that's a simple thing and yes your support is everything for me because it really really encourages me to create videos so that's why uh, i don't uh, uh, I don't care about bad comments. I know some people really don't like something because they cannot even uh, afford someone to do good. Okay, so but I I like those people who encourages me. So I love you all and thank you for that amazing support. And we are nearly going to touch six uh six thousand subscribers and maybe in two days or three days so surely after ten thousand subscribers i will uh, give you a a kit of uh, motion elements so for after effects and really give you a training about that so i will create some videos on after effects and one more thing i i just got is if you guys really want to get some intros and outros from uh, in after effects which are premium i will provide you just uh, suggest me if you really want to see those intros on this channel or not okay now we have wasted a lot of time so let's jump ba back into photoshop and we'll look back what we are going to create today so this is a simple image uh, and uh, simply just creating selection you can see that creating selection on our character giving the area to be affected and then simply just uh, this is our simple output you can see that it looks amazing because i like these kind of effects because these are detailed and uh, embers and ashes i really like these things and uh, these kind of effects so let's just close this effect and we'll move to the next one so uh, creating selection around our character giving area to be affected and that is the uh we can say that uh, uh effect so there are lots of detail we will check back check them check them later so let's just close and uh, this is our uh, effect you can see that creating selection running the action and the final results are here so you can make copies of this effect to make it look like more better so let's just close everything and let's start from very basics so this is our simple image we will start from here you can see that there is no lock on it but we will create a lock we will get a background and then we will give some layers so let's start 
first of all we will create a new layer because this image is png before we make it as a background uh, we will just create selections and we will uh, and the needed layers so i will create a new layer and name this layer as brushes make sure that the name the uh, the name of this layer is brush and the first letter is capital and others are in lower case so keep in mind that now we'll press control and click on our character it will create a selection on our character is the simple thing is that you have to fill the area first so this is our character on which we want to apply our effect so simply just change the foreground color and you will fill it with any color okay now create another layer name this layer as effect okay on this layer the area will be picked for effect so we'll click and cl uh, create a selection on our character again now we'll pick our brush tool and simply just pick and to the upside like this that's great thing and now we'll simply just uh, press ctrl d instead of uh, doing this we'll change the foreground color to any color but not green color because we want to differentiate between those two, both colors now we'll simply just uh, give this area to be affected because we really want to be affect this area so that's it that's a great thing okay that's nice now uh, you can see that i have created selection but we need to increase the room so we'll press c and we'll simply just uh, increase the sides like this and now we we'll press b and we'll simply just fill the selection like this and now we have our effect layer our brush layer and our background layer now we'll create another layer and take it right under all of these layers and we will fill it with any color so we'll go to solid colors and we'll select a color maybe dark white any type of color you can use now we'll select uh, this character layer this character layer and this background layer and we'll press ctrl e it will merge both of these layers now uh, this is our first and second layer now we'll select our background layer we'll go to layer new background from selected layer now we have done everything in this context now it's time to unload brushes and action so we'll go to edit uh, preset preset manager from the preset manager click on load now we will just navigate the folder which you have downloaded extract that and you will see there is a suit to brushes so click on select this uh, brushes and click on load so i have already did this step so i don't need to do that again so click on cancel click on done after that if you didn't see this icon on the right hand side of your panel just go to windows and click on actions from the actions uh, you just need to click on this uh, top icon and click on load actions from the load actions open the folder and you will see that there is a suit to action file click and select and load it i have already uh, done this step so i don't need to do this step again so now you will see that both of these are loaded now keep in mind that you are using a rgb image 8 bit per channel and just go to the side panel icon click on panel option from the panel options make sure that click on add copy to copy layers and groups and click on ok now open this and you will see that purge is already included in that so we'll simply just click on play button and we will wait for the process to complete its work and the speed of the actions depend on your computer memory so uh, if it is taking time so be patient and wait for the process to complete its work Okay, so the process is complete just close the side panel and you will see this amazing output and uh, it looks like a bursting from inside to outside now it's time to close everything you can see that there are lots of layers here so what we'll do is i uh, will simply just press ctrl alt and click on this uh, dropping down arrow it will close all of the groups at once and now when you will open this you will see that everything is neat and clean now you can see that our image is uh, saturated so we will check and make it uh, colorful so you can see that black and white uh, simply just turn this off and you will see that it is nicely done now let's see these are some color modes you can see that and uh, this is the original image and this is our effect so let's just open this effect this is the smoke on our character if you want to use this or not it's your choice let's just close at this uh, time being 
uh, see front main effect shades uh, you can see that this is the particles press control J copy these particles and turn them outside so it could look like uh, it is bursting from inside to outside like this you can make it as long as possible and press ctrl t let's see if it works with that like this and i hope it will work like this we can do a lot more things like uh, using these uh, actions like at this time it looks like this one okay it looks like it is repeating the things uh, again so we'll simply just create a layer mask thumbnail on it press x uh, to make your foreground color as black select your brush tool where is the brush tool that's nice now we'll simply just uh, make a significant change you can see that and same thing on our this second group it will take a little time to apply this effect because this image is pretty much high definition so that's why it is taking a little time let's just zoom it out and select the second group create a selection let's see uh, okay so this is here let the effect apply okay so you can see that the repression is pretty much uh, done let's just uh, see the front main particle effect so this is the particle effect we will copy this also press v and we will move this to the outside little bit so it could look like it is coming from inside to outside now it looks nice and uh, this is the main effect uh, embers open this up to check what's going on here so let's see uh, what thing we have to keep you can see that there are lots of things here so don't be confused just check which things you like close the side panel and this is the gradient map you can apply on this image okay so that's the thing on particles we can create our own particles by creating new layer press brush tool and simply just you can see that it looks like this one but you can see that it, it is not a good idea because it's not a strong particle effect so there are some particles we have so now you can see that if it is uh, creating uh, it's a black so we'll turn down it to white and now it looks a little bit particle effect so we'll move to the top and now we'll see if it works but uh, we can make it a uh, difference between all these particles like this now see if it is nicely done or not just play with the actions uh, the basic thing is that you will get a lot more cool outputs using these actions uh, like this let's just close this one oops sorry uh, this one and now we'll move to the our image this is our image but there is not so much uh, to edit in that so let's see what's uh, here so this is the effect one effect two and effect three so we could we want to apply effect one it, it's nice so that's 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 nice and now we'll open the background smoke you can turn this on or off again it's your choice and this is the background group uh, let's see what we can edit okay and let's see the background smoke is here okay so that's nice okay it looks nice here this is the background you can use it by your choice so uh, this is the basic effect now there are some color modes also here uh, you can apply these color modes by your choice and uh, i hope it's a helpful tutorial for you guys i hope you like this video also there are some adjustment options here also so you can turn them on or off it's your choice okay so this is it uh, and i hope you like this video if you like this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up 
just play with these actions and we'll get lots of cool outputs uh, we'll meet in our next video please subscribe to my channel don't forget to subscribe because it's really really important for me and uh, we'll meet in our next video never stop never depend and keep learning